charity that works to combat loneliness and isolation in old age. I don't think I'll ever forget nursery rhymes. No. <laughs> we particularly specialise in supporting carers and people with dementia. We combine reminiscence with the arts. Reminiscence Arts is the exploration of living memory of life experience through any art form. We use people's past experiences uh, to inform their current health and well-being and we do that through uh, the creation of plays, songs, drawing, painting. I thought it would be interesting to try using the clay and making textures. And there you've got a little flower shape. But it's just opened up a whole new world of artistic things for Mum. I like making things, I like painting. She, she didn't do artwork for years and years and she's got such a lot of talent. It's just lovely to see her being how she used to be. The proven benefits are that uh, participation in reminiscence arts improves people's uh, quality of life and well-being by 42%. Now that's an extraordinary figure, um, and you can see it. Well, I don't think of myself as being old. I'm still as young as I was when you I was a kid. as young as you feel, yeah. yeah. She's 92, and she's still interested in things. People with dementia are still very capable of giving. They are still giving off their personality. Um, so it's just a question of us finding ways of unlocking that. There are over a hundred different forms of dementia. Uh, most people will have heard of Alzheimer's and will know uh, dementia as memory loss, but it can have a large number of effects uh, on the individual as the disease progresses. They get to take part in activities which are very kind of person-centred. You know, they are, they are chosen specifically with the people in mind who are in the group. Paperwork. Yeah. Paper always just trying so hard. Paperweight. Paperweight. Yes. Excellent. That's right. Paperweight. Yeah. We have a, a very big collection of what I would call you, you know, sort of social history objects and artifacts from the 1860s through to the kind of 1940s and 50s. But they are very, very important because they are a way of helping unlock people in telling their story as memory triggers. It is gorgeous. I had three. Like my friend had, who was a, 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 what do you call him? He pushed about. Was he collecting? Yes. I just love the fact that you could have a hundred different stories for the same object. If you're caring some, for someone with dementia, obviously there's a significant emotional impact. First of all, you've got a complete change of relationship, perhaps if you're caring for your partner, uh, they're no longer supporting you, which might have happened in an equal relationship. A lot of carers find that friends disappear once they start caring for somebody with dementia, so they become very isolated. I do get a bit anxious, I do get a bit neurotic, I do get a bit depressed and a bit down and everything. When I come here, I just have a laugh and uh, it's just great, it takes me out of myself. We provided over 500 activity classes last year. We also uh, provide services like a not-for-profit cafe and a library. And the reason that's important for us is because we have a lot of older volunteers. There are 85 active volunteers here at Age Exchange. That's part of active ageing, that's keeping people healthy and well in their latter years.